through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us.
Be gracious to me and hear my prayer, O men, how long shall my honor suffer shame? How long will you love vain words and seek after lies, but know that the Lord has set apart the godly for himself? The Lord heareth when I call to him. Be angry, but sin not, for you your own heart from your beds, and be silent. Offer right sacrifices and put your trust in the Lord. There are many who say, Oh, that we might see some good, lift up the light of thy countenance upon us, O Lord. Fast but more joy in my heart than they have when their grain and wine abound. If these so will fly down and sleep, for thou, O Lord, makest me dwell in safety. Give ear to my words, O Lord, give heed to my groaning. groaning. Hearken to the sound of my cry, my King and my God, for to thee do I pray. O Lord, in the morning thou didst hear my voice, in the morning I prepare a sacrifice for thee and watch. For thou art not a God who delights in wickedness, evil may not sojourn with thee, the boastful may not stand before thy eyes. Thou hatest all evildoers, thou destroyest those who speak lies, the Lord abhors bloodthirsty and deceitful men. But I, through the abundance of thy steadfast love, will enter thy house, I will worship toward thy holy temple in the fear of thee. Lead me, O Lord, in thy righteousness, because of my enemies, make thy way straight before me. For there is no truth in their mouth, their heart is destruction, their throat is an open sepulchre, they flatter with their tongue. Make them bear their guilt, O God, let them fall by their own counsel. Because of their many transgressions, cast them out, for they have rebelled against thee. For let all who take refuge in thee rejoice, let them ever sing for joy, and do thou defend them. That those who love thy name may exult in thee, for thou hast blessed the righteous, O Lord, thou hast covered and favor us with a shield. O Lord, rebuke me not in thy anger, nor chasten me in thy wrath. Be gracious to me, O Lord, for I am languishing. O Lord, heal me, for my bones are troubled. My soul also is sorely troubled, but thou, O Lord, how long? Turn, O Lord, save my life, deliver me for the sake of thy steadfast love. For in death there is no remembrance of thee, and shall who can give thee praise. I am weary of my moaning, every night I flood my bed with tears, I drench my house with my weeping, my eye wastes away because of grief, it grows weak because of all my foes. Depart from me, all you workers of evil, for the Lord has heard the sound of my weeping, the Lord has heard my supplication, the Lord accepts my prayer. All my enemies shall be ashamed and sorely troubled. They shall turn back and be put to shame in a moment. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord my God, in thee do I take refuge. Save me from all my pursuers, and deliver me, lest like the lion they rend me, dragging me away with none to rescue. O Lord my God, if I have done this, if there is wrong in my hands, if I have requited my friend with evil, or plundered my enemy without a cause, let the enemy pursue me and overtake me, and let him trample my life to the ground, and lay my soul in the dust. Arise, O Lord, in thy anger, lift thyself up against the fury of my enemies. Awake, O my God, thou hast appointed a judgment. Let the assembly of the peoples be gathered about thee, and over it take thy seat on high. The Lord judges the peoples, judge me, O Lord, according to my righteousness and according to the integrity that is in me. O let the evil of the wicked come to an end, but establish thou with the righteous, thou who triest the minds and hearts, thou righteous God. My shield is with God who saves the upright in heart. God is a righteous judge and a God who has indignation every day. If a man does not repent, God will wet his sword. He has bent and strung his bow. He has prepared his deadly weapons, making his arrows fiery shafts. Behold, the wicked man conceives evil and is pregnant with mischief and brings forth lies. He makes a pit, digging it out, and falls into the hole which he has made. His mischief returns upon his own head, and on his own fate violence descends. I will give to the Lord the thanks due to his righteousness, and I will, give, I will sing praise to the name of the Lord, the Most High. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is thy name in all the earth, thou whose glory above the heavens is chanted by the mouth of babes and infants. Thou hast founded a bulwark because of thy foes to still the enemy and the avenger. When I look at thy heavens, the work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars which thou hast established, what is man that thou art mindful of him, and the son of man that thou dost care for him? If thou hast made him little less than God, who has crowned him with glory and honor, thou hast given him dominion over the works of thy hands, thou hast put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, and also the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, and the fish of the sea, whatever passes along the paths of the sea, O Lord our Lord, and majestic is thy name in all the earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Hallelujah, 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 glory be to you, O God. Hallelujah, 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 glory be
assume the company with men who work iniquity, and let me not be joined to their elect. Let the righteous chasten me with mercy and rebuke me, but let the oil of the wicked never anoint my head. I direct my prayer against their desires, their judges have been swallowed up by the rock. They hear my words, for they are sweet. As a lump of earth is shattered on the ground, so shall their bones be scattered before the mouth of hell. O Lord, Lord, my eyes are upon you, and you have I hope. Do not reject my soul. Keep me from the snares which they have laid for me, and from the traps of the evildoers. Let the wicked fall into their own nets while I pass by in safety. I call to the Lord with my voice, with my voice to the Lord I make my supplication. I pour out my prayer before him, I declare before him my trouble. When my spirit was overwhelmed within me, then he knew my path. In the path where I walked, they secretly laid a snare for me. I looked to the right and watched, but there was none who knew me. I had no refuge, no one cares for my soul. I cried out to you, O Lord, and said, You are my hope and my portion in the land of the living. Attend to my prayer, for I brought very low. Deliver me from the persecutors, for they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of prison that I may pray to my enemy.
Oh. 
immortal have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, who Lord cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions, holy one, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, the Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save our lives. And there is no soundness in my flesh. 
I've been afflicted and humbled beyond measure. I cried out because of the affliction of my heart. O Lord, all my desire is before you, and my sign is not hidden from you. My heart is troubled. My strength fails me, and the light of my eyes is also gone from me. My friends and neighbors drew near to me and stood silently. My kinsmen stood afar off. Those who sought after my soul used violence. Those who sought my ruin spoke vain things and imagined deceits all the day long. But I, like a deaf man, did not hear, like a deaf man who does not open his lips. I became like a man who does not hear, and his mouth are no reproofs. For in you, O Lord, I hope you will hear me, O Lord, my God. I said, let not my enemies rejoice over me. For when my feet slip, they boasted against me. For I am ready for wounds, and my affliction is continually before me. For I will confess my iniquity, and my soul is afflicted because of my sins. But my enemies live and are mightier than I, and those who hate me wrongfully have multiplied. Those who render me evil for good slander me because I followed after good. Do not forsake me, O Lord my God. Depart not from me. Attend to my help, O Lord of my salvation. Do not forsake me, O Lord my God. Depart not from me. Attend to my help, O Lord of my salvation. O God, my God, early in the morning I turn to you. My soul thirsts for you. How often my flesh longs for you, as in a trackless desert land where no water is. So I have appeared before you in the sanctuary to see your power and glory, because your mercy is better than life. My lips will praise you. Thus I will bless you while I live. I will lift up my hands in your name. My soul will be filled as with oil and fat, and my mouth will praise you with joyful lips. I remembered you upon my bed. I meditated on you in the morning, for you have been my helper. And in the shelter of your wings I will rejoice. My soul has pleased you. Your right hand has holding me. But those who sought my life in vain, they should be delivered up to the sword. They should be apportioned for foxes. But the king shall rejoice in God. Everyone who swears by him shall be praised. But the mouth of those who speak unrighteousness shall be stopped. I meditated on you in the morning, for you have been my helper. In the shelter of your wings I will rejoice. My soul is pleased to you. Your right hand upholds me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, God of my salvation, I have cried out day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you, and find your ear to my supplication. For my soul is full of troubles, and my life draws near to hell. I am counted with those who go down to the pit. I have become like a man without help, free among the dead, like the slain who lie in the grave, for you remember no more, and who are cut off from your hand. You have laid me in the lowest pit, in darkness, and in the shadow of death. Your wrath lies heavy upon me, and you have afflicted me with all your ways. You have put away my acquaintances far from me. They regard me with horror. I was delivered up and have not come forth. My eyes are weakened from weeping. Lord, I have called daily upon you. I have stretched out my hands to you. Will you work wonders for the dead? Will the shade rise up and praise you? Who will tell of your mercy in the grave or your righteousness in the place of destruction? Will your wonders be known in the darkness and your truth in the land of forgetfulness? But to you I have cried out, O Lord, and in the morning my prayer comes before you. O Lord, why do you cast off my soul? Why do you turn away your face from me? I am poor and in distress from my youth. I was exalted and I was humiliated and brought very low. Your wrath passed over me, your terrors troubled me. Like water they engulfed me. All the day long they overwhelmed me. You have put far away from me my friends, my neighbors, and my acquaintances because of my sufferings. O Lord God of my salvation, I have cried out day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you and call your ear to my supplication. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from corruption, who crowns you with mercy and compassion, who satisfies your desire with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord works deeds of mercy and executes justice for all who are oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses, his will to the children of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, long-suffering and abundant in mercy. He will not always be angry, nor will he be at enmity with us forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heavens are high above the earth, the Lord has confirmed his mercy on those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far as he removed our transgression from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord is compassionate to those who fear him. For he knows whereof we are made, he remembers that we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass, like the flower of the field, so he blossoms. For when the wind passes over it, it is gone, and its place remembers it no more. 
But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him, and his righteousness to children's children, to those who keep his covenant and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord has prepared his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all his angels, mighty and strength who do his word, heeding the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all his hosts, his ministers who do his will. Bless the Lord, all his works in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Hear my prayer, O oh Lord, give ear to my supplication in your faithfulness. Hear me in your righteousness. Enter not into judgment with your servant, for in your sight no man living shall be justified. For the enemy has persecuted my soul, he has humbled my life to the ground, he has made me dwell in darkness like those who have long been dead. Therefore my spirit is overwhelmed within me, my heart within me is troubled. I remember the days of old, I meditated on all your works, I mused on the works of your hands. I spread out my hands to you, my soul longed for you like a thirsty land. Hear me speedily, O Lord, and my spirit fails. Turn not your face from me, lest I be like those who go down into the pit. Make me to hear your mercy in the morning, for in you I have hoped. Make me to know, O Lord, the way in which I should walk, for I have lifted up my soul to you. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord, for to you I have fled. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Your good spirit shall lead me in the land of righteousness. For your name's sake, O Lord, enlighten me in your righteousness. Bring my soul up out of tribulation. In your mercy, cut off my enemies and destroy all those who afflict my soul, for I am your servant. Hear me in your righteousness, and turn not into judgment with your servant. Hear me in your righteousness, and turn not into judgment with your servant. Your good spirit shall lead me in the land of righteousness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory be to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory be to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory be to thee, O God. God is the Lord, and has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His law is everlasting. Lord is the Lord, and has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. All the nations have come to speak in the name of the Lord, and withstood them. God is the Lord, and has revealed himself to us. Thy most pure side, thou didst say to the doubting disciples, 
Stretch out your hand and touch and know that I am he who suffered for your sake. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto ages of ages of men. When the doors were closed, thou didst stand in the midst of thy disciples, O Christ, the light of all. Thou didst show them thy hands and feet and side, that they might believe in thy resurrection from the tomb. But Thomas, who was not there, said, If I do not see him with my own eyes, I will not be convinced by your words. <laughs>
disciples in a marvelous manner. He said, O oh, Thomas, having seen my sign and the marks of the nails, why do you doubt my resurrection? Thomas called the twin, answered the Creator, You are truly my Lord and my God.
mercy. According to the multitude of your tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my wickedness and cleanse me from my sin. <clears throat> For I know my transgression and my sin is ever before me. Against you only have I sinned and done this evil in your sight, that you might be justified in your sentence and vindicated when you are judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities, and incensed in my mother bare me. For behold, you have loved truth, the hidden and secret things of your wisdom you have revealed to me. Sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me your joy and gladness. My humble bones shall rejoice. Turn your face away from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with your governing spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways, and the ungodly shall turn back to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of your righteousness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For if you had desired sacrifice, I would have given it. With whole burnt offerings you will not be pleased. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit. A broken and contrite heart, O God, you will not despise. The good, O Lord, design in your good pleasure, and the walls of Jerusalem will be built. Then you will be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and whole burnt offerings. Then they shall offer you bowls on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to the first of the apostles, O rest of the world, light of the multitude of our transgressions, now and ever and unto ages of ages, Amen. Thou didst show to thy disciples, O Christ, 
They have shown the world the glad tidings of thy resurrection. Members of my body, 
touched me and stretching out to a rescuing hand to them and giving to them, thou shalt find me. Do something for them which is costly for thee. Sacrifice thyself for them as much as thou canst. And behold, in them thou shalt discover me. I shall answer thee with special grace, for thou shalt feel me living and present. <coughs> thou shalt experience the reality, the power of my resurrection. It is not given to us to see the blessed face constantly, but light and vision, the face of Christ, will appear to me behind the face of my brother, and through compassion I shall meet the passion. I shall touch my brother who suffers and say, my Lord and my God. To the prayers of our Holy Father, <coughs> Jesus Christ, who are risen from the dead, have mercy on us and save us. Great is the contemplation of thy mystery, O Christ, as he beheld the light that came forth from thee. The gods here have the foot cried out to thee, O lover of man, who art the salvation of thy people. Glory, O Lord, to thy holy resurrection. Thou was him and vinegar mixed with gall, as a medicine on the, the tree, but thou didst grant enlightenment in the sweetness of thy communion to our forefathers. Glory, O Lord, to thy holy resurrection. Let us eagerly rejoice, for in his command, Thomas, to Thomas to stretch forth his unbelieving hand, the lover of man has granted peace to those who believe in this third day resurrection. Glory, O Lord, to thy holy resurrection. The riches received from thy treasury, O gracious one, were held in thy wounds. But thou didst fill the twins with wisdom and understanding. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Your praise is most blessed, O Didymus, for you were the first to preach the life giver of Christ, this God and Lord. From a touch, you were filled with praise. Disciple was preserved unharmed when he drew near to touch the fire of the wounds of the Lord. 
who was given the courage to touch the flesh of the one whom none can touch. With thy sufferings thou didst shape that which was on high, and that which was below, and if it were not for the strength which was given to his right hand, he could not have touched thee. Thomas was given this grace, and when he touched thee, O Christ, he cried, Thou art my Lord and my God. Calling the people to imitate their image of musical harmony, the youths sang the Psalms of Zion written by their father David. They destroyed the evil command of the tormentor and shaped the flames into dew as, and changed the flames into dew as they sang, Blessed art thou, O our God, exalted by the fathers. Glory, O Lord, to thy holy resurrection. Let the divine people of God rejoice with trembling on this the Lord's illuminating first of days. This day brings the image of the eighth day, which will complete the future. Blessed art thou, O our God, exalted by the fathers. Glory, O Lord, to thy holy resurrection. Because of Thomas the twin, who disbelieved and then found faith, we have been graced by the loosening of our ignorance. He wove a crown for himself as he openly proclaimed, Blessed art thou, O our God, exalted by the fathers. Glory, O Lord, to thy holy resurrection. The doubt of Thomas did not prevent thy resurrection, nor was his unbelief without a use. For now Thomas undoubtedly shows thy resurrection to all the nations, who before were unbelieving, but now are taught to say, Blessed art thou, O our God, the Lord exalted by the fathers. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. As he placed his trembling hand into the, thy life-giving wound, O Christ, Thomas sensed a double working. The two natures united in thee without confusion, crying out in faith, he called, Blessed art thou, O our God, the Lord exalted by the fathers. You saved the preeminent and the Lord.
probe my wounds with your hand, be, one, be of one mind with my disciples, and proclaim that I am a living God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Today the fragrance of the of spring spreads forth, the new creation shall rejoice. Today the lock shall be taken from the doors by the faithlessness of the beloved Thomas, as he cries out, My Lord and my God. Praise the Lord from the heavens, praise him in the highest, praise him all his angels, praise him all his hosts, praise him sun and moon, praise him all his stars and light, praise him you have the heavens and you waters above the heavens, let them praise the name of the Lord, praise both and they came to be. He commanded and they were created, he established them for every and forever and ever, he has made a decree which will not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, he dragons and all beasts, fire, hail, snow, and frost, for me when fulfilling his word. Mountains and all hills, fruitful trees and all cedars, beasts and all cattle, creeping things and feathered birds, kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all judges of the earth, young men and maidens, old men and its children. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted, his glory is on earth and in heaven. And he has exalted the horn of his people. All his names will praise him, even the children of Israel, people near to him. Sing to the Lord in his song, his praise in the congregation of the saints. Let Israel rejoice in him and name him. Let the sons of Zion rejoice in their king. Let them praise his name with a dance. Let them sing praises to him with cymbal and harp. For the Lord takes pleasure in his people. He will exalt them. He can save them. Let the saints be exalted in glory. They will rejoice in their beds. The praises of God shall be in their mouths and two edged swords in their hands. To execute vengeance on the nations and chastisements on the people. To bind their kings with fetters and their nobles with chains of iron. To execute on them the judgment that was written, such as the glory of all his saints. <coughs> praise God in the saints. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his infinite grace. <laughs>
This is the afflicted Angela Murphy Mondrake, and Daniel Archpriest John, Brother Deacon Joseph Archpriest Robert, Glenn Helena, the clergy wives Marsha, Janice, Lisa, Maria, and Annette, Mother Stephanie, waiting surgery for those suffering servants, Labertine, Joseph, Suzette, Charles, Zachary, Charles, Yelena, James, Meredith, Joseph, George, Rosemary, the Siddiqui, Nicholas, Nicholas, Irene, Estislav, Terry Lou, and family, Jennifer, Richard, and Mary. Mark, child Katie, who's grievously ill for her family. For the suffering servant, Stamahula, Stam Stam Roxini, Anastasia, Renee, Joyce, Francis, Ruth, Bill, Elsie, John, Sharon, Nancy, David, Kula, Margaret, Keith, Jer Charles, Naomi, Theodore, Alexandro, Yelena, Vera, Helen, Joan, Infant Finn, Calliope, Mary Kay, Stephen, or Sue and Richard, child Rachel, and those suffering from cancer, or Commander at Theodore, Commander at Athanasia, Commander at Roman, Archpriest Dan, Archpriest John, Archpriest John, Priest Parthenius, for Mark, George, Antonina, Nero, Phil, Gary, Mary, James, Suzanne, Cody, Christine, Anna Marie, Denise, Dennis, Milton, Thikia, Kristen, Constance, and Linda, Sophia, Michael, Teresa, Charles, Matsuka, Emily, and all those who are ill. Daria, Harry, Suel, Roberta, Isra, Ali. Guidance at sea travel with travelers. For the Archpriest Andrew and his family traveling. For Veronica, Manos, and all those who are traveling. Join Orthodox Christians in battle grant remission of sins to those who serve us and are kind to us. Have mercy according to great mercy of those who ask us to pray for them, unworthy that we be our metropolitan deacon, our Archbishop Nathaniel, all the hierarchs of the church, especially the bishops John and Paul, who have been in captivity for one year. For their diocese and all their families and loved ones, remember those in the armed forces of this nation, among them Christopher, Alexander, and Matthew, remember especially all the people of Ukraine who are suffering and, and world leaders and for peace in the world for the um, all those in civil authority for the missionaries serving here and abroad for all those serving in the holy monastic life especially remember the nuns Pelagia, Agati, Iman, Marina, Theodosia, Tekla, Miriam, Pedronia, Christina, Veronique, Ogea, Irene, and Ignati who were in captivity in Syria Remember our fathers and brethren who have fallen asleep before us. Give them rest under the light of your countenance, Metropolitan Philip, on the 40th day of his repose. The newly departed Archpriest Alexander, Joseph, Robert, John, Miroslav, Mary, Sophie, Catherine, Debbie, George, James, James, Sharon, Michelle, Mira, Chet. The newly departed Paniota, Michael, and Ed. For the departed Archpriest Vasily, Priest Innocent, Brother Deacon Innocent, Archpriest John, Priest George, Archpriest Kirill, Mitre Archpriest Leonid, Priest Paul, Archpriest George, Gregory, Archpriest Deacon Constantine on the anniversary of their repose. Remember those who are in prison and captivity. Remember those suffering persecution for the faith. Remember Jeff Andrew, Natalie, Joseph, Julia, Gerasmus, Patrick, Jordan, Patrick, Deva, Nikolai, Jeffrey, John, David, and all those. Remember all those who are being terrorized, all those who are being threatened, all those being abused, all those who are lonely, all those who are suffering from addictions. Remember the donors and benefactors of our monastery and all those whose names are listed on the prayer list. Remember us also, Lord, your humble, sinful, and unworthy servants. Enlighten our minds with the light of your reason. Direct us unto the path of commandments. By the prayers of your most pure, sovereign lady, feel focus and ever virgin Mary, and of all your saints, we are blessed unto ages of ages. Amen. Praise the Lord, God the Holy and Perfect, the pious and Orthodox Christians, with this holy monastery and this countryside, to the ages of ages, Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious be and compare than the